I'm Sabri Siram Shamapti and so good to be here and today I have the lightest moisturizers for summer. I should have made the part 1 here. You may find this to be helpful but still if you want more recommendations this video is gonna help you out. So let's start. First I have these two moisturizers from Plum. One is their Hemp Ceramide Moisturizer and other is their Vitamin C Moisturizer. These are lightweight but slightly different. This one, this vitamin C moisturizer, it actually gives this dewy finish. Very lightweight and it has vitamin C, actually vitamin C derivative. It also has ingredients like aloe vera. It is not oil free though, it has almond oil. The doctor says they have one oil free vitamin C and ceramide moisturizer. That one is good as well, very similar to this, but that one is slightly lighter than this one. So both of these can help you out if you want a lightweight, dewy finish moisturizer. But if you want something matte, then go for this one. This is Plum's Hemp and Ceramides Moisturizer. Actually, initially it feels a bit dewy, but then it settles into matte, very lightweight uh, formulation. For summer, it's going to be good for oily skin, even dry skin people if you want matte formulation. But for winter, it's not going to be enough. But for summer, it's actually a very good lightweight moisturizer that gives, you know, this matte finish. It has hemp oil, it has ceramides, but it doesn't feel oily at all. Rather, I thought it's gonna be very nourishing moisturizer, but I was very surprised when I used it. It was actually quite mattifying. So yeah, if you want a dewy formula, then go for this. If you want a matte finish, then go for this. Also for dewy finish, this one from Simple is very good. I spoke about it many times. This is a vitamin C gel moisturizer. I have used this quite a lot. Again, very good lightweight moisturizer that gives a dewy finish but if you want something that can control your oil that has this balance of this matte and dewiness then go for this one from Damaco this is their calamine face lotion it has 5% calamine it has hyaluronic acid it also has 3% niacinamide which is great for brightening up your skin it also has this ability to strengthen your skin barrier the texture is very nice there are calamine moisturizers that can feel really dry but this one is not like that because it has a bunch of good emollients it has good you know hydrating ingredients humectants so yeah if you're looking for a good calamine based lotion it can really help you out i'm really liking this one this is fragrance free and after that if you want a very good gel moisturizer then this one can help you out if you like your watermelon in your skincare for me it mostly feels hydrating and soothing and this is their soothing gel cream from tony molly and uh, sometimes nika gives like 50% off or 60% off Tony Molly so wait for that wait for the sale no need to buy this at full price but this one has linalool I think so if you are allergic to linalool then it's not for you this is not fragrance free but it has this very mild fragrance which doesn't bother me and similar to this this is from Dot & Kidder prebiotics uh, hydrating gel if i have to pick between this and this i'm going to pick this one because it feels more soothing more hydrating to my skin it also has fragrance but very less fragrance but if your skin doesn't like fragrance at all then these are not for you otherwise it can do great like i told you this is very hydrating and i keep this inside the fridge before applying this it has prebiotics it has fermented ingredients so if your skin doesn't like fermented ingredients then this is not for you otherwise i think it can do a very good job even dot and key they give like good cells now and then it can work for all skin types for summer very lightweight works really good under makeup and sunscreen good stuff and the last thing i have is from uh doctor says their haldi and hyaluronic sleeping mask so if you look for a lightweight sleeping mask it can do the job for you it has a bunch of hydrating ingredients it has ceramides squalene uh, turmeric oil it has a good amount of glycerin niacinamide and if you like you know sleeping mask but if you find those things to be a bit heavy for your skin try this one this is lightweight but still it nourishes the skin really well it's almost like that innisfree aloe revital sleeping pack but this is a bit heavy just a tiny bit heavy but this is better at hydrating but if you want more lightweight formulation in night sleeping pack then go for this innisfree aloe revital sleeping pack or simple sleeping mask those things can do a good job and this one also can brighten up your skin because it 
it has niacinamide. Niacinamide is my love, you know. This is one ingredient that has changed my skin for better. I started using niacinamide serum. It helped me a lot. So I'm in love with this ingredient. Niacinamide, licorice. This ingredients have, you know, helped me a lot to, you know, brighten up my skin, to even out my skin tone. So, yeah, there you have it. My lightweight moisturizer recommendations. And if your skin doesn't like moisturizers at all, then what you can do, you can use this milky serums for um, summer. Uh, this also have with hydrating qualities. It also has moisturizing properties. So if you have really oily skin, then this can help you out. And you may be able to escape moisturizer if you have like really, really oily skin, like extremely oily skin. For daytime, it can work. For nighttime, you can opt for any of this you know lightweight moisturizers but yeah sometimes i when i feel like my skin is feeling like really oily or it's very humid i don't want to put any moisturizer for daytime i follow up with this you know milky toners then i use on sunscreen and the milky textured serums they feel really nourishing and also you can try emulsions from korean brands this is from isn't tree their green tea emulsion it has a bunch of soothing ingredients like centella green tea and how we usually use emulsions we first use emulsion then we apply moisturizer but for summertime we cannot do that because this is so hot already we cannot layer too many things in our skincare routine and for that you can stick to that you can just use this as hydrating face lotion so yeah i really hope you found this to be helpful if you have any questions please ask me in the comments box and if you have any other recommendations for hydrating lighted moisturizers let me know and i'm gonna see you very soon then bye bye